Okay, I think we are live. Trying to fix this though. Reset transform. Oh my gosh. There we go. Oh shoot, I forgot I have a 4K video. I'm now on a 4K monitor. So that's why. That explains it. Hey, hey, welcome to the stream. All right, let's get this thing popping. Hopefully y'all can hear me. All right, all right, all right. Gonna see some PS5 reveal. Okay, so get get your uh, get your predictions in now. I'm guessing a uh, 400 digital, 500 for the uh, disc version. I don't think that's a crazy prediction. I recognize that voice. Okay. So I want to share this stream. Let's do that. Hey, Naki. Can you guys hear the audio? You can't hear the audio on the desktop, can you? You can't hear the stream. That's not good. Uh, let's see. Why can't we hear that? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to try to fix that. That's not good. Okay, you can hear it now, right? Do they really mean to invade us? Sorry about that. It's no bueno. <clears throat> What's this I'm a little late to the party. I think this is a... Uh... What is this? It's not Demon Souls, is it? I don't think Demon Souls is this uh, fast, right? What do I know? Oh, it is Demon Souls. Or is it? I, I don't know. I'm just talking. I'm fine. Trying to get my bearings here. I'm a little slow. Got a lot, lot going on these days. Pardon me while I get a French fry in your face. 
the legacy of the crystals. Has shaped our history. Oh, is this Final Fantasy 16? If it's the last I'm saying Demon Souls. This is Final Fantasy, huh? I could tell by the, uh, yeah, by the, uh, pretty boy faces. Oh, hey! We got ourselves a Yilly. Okay, I'm a tired, busy guy, but uh, today's my day off, so I figured, hey, it's perfect. I can, uh, I can uh, do this live stream. But I'm moving, I'm moving and grooving. Right after this, I got something to do. Right before this, I had something to do. I'm guessing this is Spider-Man. Got a hunch. That's Spider-Man, Miles Morales. You guys play Spider-Man? On PS4. Good game. I gave up on platinum, platinum, platinuming it. How do you say that? Platting it. Yilly's not sure that's Spider-Man. Come on, we're gonna be late. Make a good point, Yilly. Tired too, Naki. Hey, dude, I am so filling your suit with snow. We could use some snow. Yeah, you know, just in case. We could really use some snow right it's now. Gonna be fine. We got ash. That's kind of snow. All right. See, this is my favorite part of living in Harlem: pop-up street fair, best food in the city, awesome music. Man, this would be great for the last beat I was working on. I bet you that chick doesn't Get stop dancing that place. same yeah, that same two-step the whole time. Think about Rio Morales. You gonna vote for her? It's still hard to think of mom as a politician. She's been a teacher my whole life. Similar skill sets, right? Rallying people, educating them, making sure they don't throw things at each other. Hi, I'm Brian Horton, creative director at Insomniac Games. We're excited to show you this first look at gameplay from Marvel Spider Man Miles Morales. Our story picks up one year after the events of the first game, and we find Miles' new home, Harlem, is in danger. Trouble brews while Miles' mom, Rio Morales, no leads Morales. an rally. A war between the devious energy corporation, Roxxon, and the underground. A high-tech criminal army led by the Tinkerer starts to break the out. The Tinkerer? In this game, you guys seen a... Uh, captured on PlayStation 5. Into the Spider-Verse? The underground attacks Roxxon. I thought it was pretty good. Sending the rally into chaos. In a fight I could have done without the, the pig and the... Where the underground robot girl Roxxon's experimental energy source new form let's take a look go, go, go. Let's, go. let's not shoot each other all right what kind of peace loving spider-man is this So this takes place a year after Spider-Man PS4, but that means Peter Parker still got to be around, right? Get rid of him. Then grab as much as you can carry. Kylo 10, I like that better. That is Kylo 10. Or Kylo Kylo Rene. We'll say that Kylo Rene. I like that. Keep him 
Spider Wars confirmed. <laughs> See, I'll play this in. I, I think it has a. I think they confirmed a 60 frames per second, right? I hope so. Because that would be amazing for a Spider Man game. Going through that city. Or a VR Spider Man. Some people would get so nauseous with that, but I want to do it. I want like a full VR experience where I'm like hooked up. In actual uh, acrobatic wires and stuff. I, when I had to make the stream, I had to say it's not children safe, but I just avoided saying a curse word. Maybe I'm just growing up. We'll see. I'll, I'll probably cuss a lot. Triangles, Miles! Hit triangle! <laughs> Yoli said on PS4 whenever I tried to go that far on the bridge it would tell me to get, to get back to the game. Don't you hate when it does that? There's a whole thing of America. I think, uh, uh, what's that Hideo Kojima game? Death Stranding. You can, I think you can travel across all of America. And Spider-Man's only letting you play in part of New York. Hit square, Miles! Pound the square button! You guys remember how hard those uh, uh, QTE, those quick action button prompts used to be? Like in the PS2 days? They used to be a lot more uh, unforgiving. Nowadays they're like all about uh, trying to make sure everybody gets to see the experience. But back then, like God of War, especially God of War, Resident Evil 4, it was a lot faster, more poundy. Metal Gear Solid 2. Be greater. Be yourself. Oh, well, you gotta be yourself or be greater? Did it just say November? Did it say November? I'm doing, I'm hosting the stream. I feel like I should know that. Yo, he says, hell yes. You'd slam down on the buttons until they bruised. Yeah, until they bruised you. Actually, uh, the first Mario Party on the N64 there's a class action lawsuit because people were getting blisters from their hands from the joystick. So they had to give people, send people gloves. This is a Harry Potter. It sounds Imagine like a Harry Potter. Both beautiful and powerful. Binds together our long history. This is a pissing off Twitter right now. That common bond Twitter hates Harry Potter is now. The legacy of Hogwarts. Now it is time to add your own story to these hallowed halls and quite possibly shape the future of the wizarding world. TikTok loves Harry Potter. Mm. Every corridor, the divide. Every portrait, every stone in this castle. TikTok's being bought by Oracle story. in the U.S. Maybe it'll finally be safe for an up and loaded TikTok account. Here you will meet lifelong friends. This open world game. 
classrooms of the world's most talented professors. And while your journey begins at Hogwarts, brewing potions, taming... Never played a good Harry Potter game? I don't think I've ever played any Harry Potter game, come to think of it. Maybe like a demo on the PS2 back in the day. Maybe. Wow. Is that gameplay? Filled with dangers you can't yet imagine. An ancient knowledge long gone from this world. That strange and mysterious talent you possess may be the key to unlocking this dormant power. PS1 was kind of fun with the stylus, but the story was meh. I could see that. The DS had some cool, cool games. Some cool tie-in games too. But what form will it take? All of these I don't see one Harry or Potter. I don't see a, a Hermione. A uh, what's the ginger? Um uh, it's not George. Ron. I don't see a Ron, a Harry, Hermione, or Hermoin. Will define the legacy of Ron. You got me. Hog Hogwarts legacy. Port Key Games, Hogwarts Legacy. They got their name in the title. Port Key Games. Go them. George versus brother. Oh shit! All right. Dang it! You got me cursing, Yelly. That's why I, I knew I knew my tongue would slip up. I knew I wouldn't be able to to keep up the the no cursing. That's why I said it's not gonna be kid friendly. Hi everyone, hey. I'm Dan Vondrak, Creative Director at Raven. One of our goals as developers is to bring the game world to life unlike anything you've ever experienced, and the PlayStation 5 is making that happen. With the power of the new console, we've been able to significantly enhance the overall experience. From what you see in the world, how it feels in your hands, to what you hear around you. In Black Ops Cold War, you will be transported to the year 1981. In the middle of one of the most dangerous times the world has ever known. Hey, Ken. The height of Ginger the wizards War. are the best. The following is a portion of the first. Yeah, I think that's where they get their power. Where you've been given the name of a high-value target the linked red to the hair and the freckles. Crisis. But in true Black Ops style, nothing is as it seems. Take a look. Finally, a new Call of Duty game. How long? The team arrived in Turkey a few hours ago. They should be in position shortly. All right, I, I did a quick polling in the beginning, but I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Uh, what, how, how much do you think the PS5 is going to cost? I'm saying 400 digital, 500 uh, physical. Let's go find this shithead. Ooh, he said shithead. Why do I have to say it's appropriate for kids if this dude's is saying shithead in the stream? Let's go. Is anyone gonna bother? Warzone is well. The thing about Warzone is that it's a um, a Fortnite battle royale, so that's not everyone's cup of tea. But you're right; it is very popular. You think you think 500 digital, Yelly? 600 physical? Oh my gosh! Check it out. It seems like a great game, but he says nothing is as it seems. <laughs> yeah, so maybe it's a bad game. Maybe that's what Raven is saying. So Yelly, Yelly thinks. Side. 600 digital. I think the Xbox pricing scared them. Granted, Sony is in first place, and cocky Sony is terrible Sony. That's how you got a $600 PS3, which was uh, not good for them. After tax is 600 So you're thinking maybe 550 Well, really, what they'll say is 599.99. So after taxes, you're automatically over 600 That's got to be a rush. Hold fire. We need a positive ID. That's our man. Take him out. Well, graphically, this is pretty good. He didn't try to set that up at all. He just like... He missed. Was that automatic? Like, he didn't take his time. No wonder you missed. He just automatically, boom! Like you weren't gonna think about it at all? Get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. 
I'm not feeling the realism here. I feel like these guys would have gotten trucked up. The aim assist is real. Yeah, not kid friendly at all. Look, now, now he's trying to take his time. Yeah, let me take my time when I'm in the car moving. Not when I'm stationary and nobody knows we're here. Hey, you guys remember when Call of Duty Special Editions used to come with uh, race cars and night vision goggles? And now they come with, like, digital currency? That's cool. I like little racing mini games. He missed! Oh, he's supposed to go under. They didn't expect him to get it in there. Maybe get a trophy if you uh, get it in the hole. Lo siento. There we go. Holiday 2020, meaning we're not giving away the, the launch date. We hope date. you enjoyed that sneak peek at the campaign for Black Ops Cold War. There are many more twists and turns along the way as you begin to unravel the truth, and we can't wait for you to play it soon. In addition to the story campaign, Cold War features the next generation of multiplayer online combat and an all-new awesome zombies experience. Today, I have the special honor to announce on behalf of my friends at Treyarch that the PlayStation community doesn't have to wait to play multiplayer. Starting this Friday, PlayStation players will be able to play the multiplayer alpha exclusively on PlayStation 4. Nominal fee required to access in Germany PS4, and Japan. You can preload the experience the hell's up with that? We can't wait to see you online Friday and through the weekend. Enjoy the rest of the show. The alpha, it's not even the beta. This game comes out in like three months and you're not in beta yet? Hmm. Heard they're adding zombies to Warzone? Yeah, they're just trying to print that money. They're competing with themselves now, though. You're right. They're competing with themselves with Warzone. We got a new Call of Duty game every year. That's the problem. Every year, they got to keep on having higher and higher profits. So they're just got to have more and more stuff. Am I making any sense? You want me to shut up while the stream happens? Chris? What the hell? Resident Evil 5. Sorry, dude. Take him away. What can I say? Treyarch and Infinity Ward always competed against each other for COD games. Yeah, they did. But now, Treyarch is kind of, or Infinity Ward is kind of a ghost of them, their former selves. They didn't want to do zombies. They wanted to do Spec Ops. But they were forced to include zombies in future games. I still need to finish Resident Evil 7. I just have too much time in my life. Quit being so paranoid. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free of Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. What a rascal. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine, under branch, and into the forest deep. It's just a local tale. Are you guys scared? I like their little uh, Roman numeral 
uh, naming scheme they've been doing. I want to know how they're going to pull it off with uh, Resident Evil 9 with an IX. If it's just looking, window shop away. This game looks pretty good. It's too bad they delayed it. I think it's supposed to come out around launch. What's it called? Death Loop? You want out of a time loop? You gotta learn how it works. Black Reef is a puzzle. And each visionary is a different piece. Here's Igor. I am a respected scientist! I've done so many loops, I've learned to run circles around him. Hey! Over here! I'm coming for you! See this planning out and repeating stra uh, gameplay loop? That seems right up my alley. Or Igor. I my targets out one by one, more than I can remember. But there is never enough time. I go after one, another lives. Because right now, half an island away, a different visionary is throwing his nightly cannibal masquerade. Alexis Dorsey. Everybody shut up! This is my jam. Igor is a big fan. Yet somehow, he never makes it to the party. Something keeps him home. Cold? You there, buddy? Here's the invite to the party. And here's why Igor blew it off. He made some kind of scientific breakthrough that morning. I did it! I did it! It works! That he makes every morning. Unless I get there first. Breakthrough. No reason for Igor not to drink his disappointment with Alexis. Now I got a shot at killing them both at the same time. In the same loop. These are uh, pretty good uh, graphics. Not as good as this, though. Igor with an E. On my list. Every one of them with grand plans for eternal life. To break the loop, I gotta break the rules. Clock's ticking. And you just ran out of time. You keep forgetting, Colt. I'm not like those other idiots. Only got one name on my list. Yours. Quarter two, 2021. Exclusive. Wow. Also available on PC. The big news was that they they can block your tr if your gun jams in this game, the trigger will jam as well, which might uh, piss off the player. <laughs> I like these uh, fancy triggers, but that might piss me off. Another Capcom game. What you guys think that this is? Day. If our positions were switched, would our fates be different? Would I have your life and your mind? You a demon? Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition. <laughs> 
I've yet to play a Devil May Cry game. They look good. So what makes this edition special? Sonic. I have DMC on the PC actually. I got it in a humble bundle, but I haven't played it. That's the one that, that that's everyone's favorite, right? DMC. You've had a crush on Dante since Devil May Cry on PS2. Oh shoot. Well, uh, now's your chance. Now's your chance to own a Dante, Ely. A special edition Dante. What are they doing? Did those fugitive morons burn down their own hideout? This is Ratchet and Clank. It sounds idiotic, but that's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> Bad Kwama for burning down my farm. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lorne Lanning, creative oh, director Oddworld. of Oddworld Soulstorm. And we're excited to bring you an all-new exclusive trailer from the game. Here, our unlikely hero, this guy got Abe, old. finds himself fresh off the back of freeing his people from the nefarious Rupture Farms. He wouldn't like if he I said that. He thinks the journey is over, but he, soon discovers it is only just Very opinionated. Begun. The stakes are higher, the threats are larger, the obstacles are more devious, and it's all made possible by the power of PlayStation 5. Enjoy. Years ago, he took his company away from game development to like do like movies and shows, but now they're back to doing games. Oddworld is a series I want to play too. I haven't played Oddworld. You know, on the official PlayStation stream, there's people just shitting on this right now because they don't know Oddworld at all, and uh, they hate that they're seeing a, a side-scrolling 2D game. But I think that's kind of cool that they showed off a 2D game during a PS5 blowout. Nights at Freddy's. Sorry. It was just a The best looking Five Nights ever. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us. Oh, it's in October, Yilly? Oh. Well, 
you guys probably know this, but the Five Nights at Freddy's guy, he used to make Christian games and and uh, he made a Christian movie. I just watched a whole video about the other day. It's gone in a different direction. <laughs> So you think I should do a live stream for Apple's event for the iPhone? What day is that on? Maybe I'm off that day. I expected them to, I, I, I guess I don't follow Apple close enough, but I expected them to do that, what was it, yesterday? For the, uh, yeah, yesterday. But they, they showed off uh, everything except the iPhone. This is this is Demon Soul. All right, this has got to be Demon Souls. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. Why are you glad you weren't wearing headphones? So the world might be mended. Great question. We don't know yet. They usually do iPhones in September, but it got delayed. Yeah, that's right. I don't know why it got delayed, because they did it just like their last event. At, uh, I mean, I know why it got delayed officially. Little thing we like to call... Uh, can I even say it on the stream without some kind of algorithm flagging me in a negative way? We'll say, uh... Pandemonium Emic... Etic? You know what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm trying to say. Little, uh, something's going viral right now. Killing people. Well, while we uh, watch the uh, slowly trudge through the game, what do you guys think of uh, the Super Mario 3D All Stars collection? Got it pre-ordered. So it looks. Look, this is a little too gory. <laughs> yeah. A little too snorry, if you ask me. <laughs> I have a feeling there it's gonna like we're gonna get surprised with something huge in a second. But this is. Uh, I don't think this is any way to show me, to excite me on this game. Even though I know a lot of people are excited about a Demon Souls remake, what I'm seeing right now is uh, there's mm, I don't know I don't know how to put it politely, so maybe I should just shut up. There's people that are, are gonna watch this and be like, "This guy has no idea what he's talking about. This is an amazing game, and it looks fine." See, that was the big. Is this the big thing? We got music now. I watched a whole video on the making of the this game initially. It's pretty interesting. More interesting than this trailer was. There's your surprise, Yilly. You die. Oh, here's the actual trailer. Yeah, that wasn't... The way they did that wasn't necessary. I think they are just trying to show off how much better it looks from the original game, but... They could have done this much better. Just, just starting right at this point. What if they did a Harry Potter Demon Souls? That sounds like something that could uh, really piss off Twitter. So you guys know I have a podcast. 
Chris to Chris. New episodes every Friday. Anywhere podcasts are sold for free. That's Chris to Chris. Go to my website, uploaded.com. Whoa, is this Fortnite? Looks like they've ported Fortnite. Fortnite! Man, I'm clever. I am so clever. Fortnite. Look at that. How did I call it? Wow, available at launch. I can't believe it. Free to play game, available at not launch. Best game, Fortnite. I haven't played Fortnite in forever. In fact, I think I uninstalled it to give myself some extra space. Happiest day of my life. Chris to Chris? Or maybe Chris? Oh my gosh. You're throwing me off now, Yilly. Give me an existential crisis in multiple languages. A new PlayStation Plus benefit for PlayStation 5. Can you kill you something go? that big? Are you giving us PS now? Because that would be huge. We're also raising the price of PlayStation Plus. Are these just upgraded, upgraded backwards compatibility? Until Dawn was, it was, it was a decent game. Kind of clunky, but it wasn't bad. Detroit was same, same as Until Dawn, except less uh, horror. Battlefield One, Infamous Second Son. I can't recommend that game enough. So fun. Arkham Knight. Played the hell out of that game too. Last Guardian. Well, this is, they, it is going to be backwards compatible, Yilly, for PlayStation 4. PS3, no way. And rumor is not even PS2 or PS1 because Sony wants to resell you those games. Sony's really greedy in that regard. Uh, Microsoft has become, they used to be the worst Microsoft with, with uh, backwards compatibility, but now they're the best. Okay, what's the, what's the deal? Is it just BC or is it something better? Free? Wait. Collection? Are all those games available for free with PS Plus? Because that would be pretty dope. Although, <laughs> they have a lot of them. I wish I'd read that a little closer. I wish I'd read that a little closer. I guess we'll have to find out after, after this is over. Hmm. What you guys think? You're so lost. Yeah, they went through that a little too quick. Maybe they needed a voice to explain it for us illiterate people. Are we getting a price now? Because we already did this little overly long look at the console with the with the black bubbles, the black and blue bubbles. All right, last chance for uh, price predictions if you haven't done it yet again I'm saying 400 500 price is coming up right here right here that's backwards they flipped it I got it I got it right Chris was right November 12th rest of the world 19th November 12th wait a minute that's two days after Microsoft huh oh shoot there you go so now you know. Five hundred, four hundred dollars. Thank you all for joining us today. They're not competing like that. This amazing he, some people thought it's your passion that they would try to compete with Microsoft and undercut them a little bit. On PS5. Negative. From everyone at PlayStation, we appreciate your continued support, and we look forward to you getting your hands on PS5 very soon. So if you get this thing, are you getting the close, digital or the physical let edition? Let me leave you with one more quick look. Nah, nah what, Yuli? The time draws near. 
God of War, God of War, God of War. Come on. Come on. God of War. That's a God of War. The last one was really good. Last one was really good. You want to stay physical? Or we want to stay physical. You must prepare yourself. Boy. Ragnarok. All right, all right, all right. It's coming. <laughs> all right. 2021, all right. That means the end of 2021. <laughs> Probably. They, they would have said something a little more specific. They would have given us more of a look if it was sooner than that. Yeah, God of War. Way. Way, Yelena. Let's go. I said it feel like 45 minutes, but I guess, I guess it was. They didn't give the price to the controllers, though, huh? That's their Pokemon ripoff. the VR stuff backwards compatible do you have PSVR I don't have it um, I, that's a good question I would guess it is but nothing's guaranteed they didn't talk about backwards compatibility at all unless that PlayStation 5 plus benefit thing that was that I don't think it was Some people thought the Horizon might be a launch game. No. No, sir. I have it, and it would be a shame if I had to buy it again. Oh, I bet you they're going to do a PSVR, too. I bet you, because, I mean, yeah. VR, VR tech has already progressed quite a bit. All right, folks, I think that's the end of the stream. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewind to that uh, PS5 benefit thing to figure out exactly what happened what happened uh okay wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute here we go sony takes their hold on sorry folks sony like really likes to draw things out with their uh artsy fartsy shapes Persona 5. Okay, wait a minute. There we are. Let's go back a little bit. Simply... Okay, hold on. Enjoy a selection of generation-defining PS4 games. Access the entire collection on your PS5 at launch. That is big. That is big. What does it say? It says, uh... Simply download games and start playing. That is big. That's big. That's probably the biggest bombshell... Uh, feature, whatever. They're going for blood right there. So what games do they got? Let's, uh... <laughs> I saw what we got. Batman Arkham Knight, Last Guardian. I didn't play Last Guardian, so... We got Arkham Knight, Last Guardian, Infamous Second Son. You should play that. You got, uh, what else? Detroit. It's good. Until Dawn is good. Uh, Days Gone. I never played that. I heard it was pretty, uh... Eh. Uncharted 4. It's good. Fallout 4. What else we got? Monster Hunter World. That's a big one for people. God of War. Boom. You already can play the prequel. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's all of them. No, I think I must skip through. That, that five seconds probably uh, skipped through some of it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know, because I saw Persona 5 in there. 
Hmm. A new PlayStation Plus benefit. Let's just watch through it again. Let's just do it. Can you kill something that big? Bloodborne, Monster Hunter, God of War, Final Fantasy 15, that's big for people, Fallout 4, Mortal Kombat 10, not 11, Ratchet and Clank, yeah, he's gone. Until dawn. My name is Marcus. My name is Carl. Marcus comes with it. Connor comes with it. Kara comes with it. Battlefield 1. Eh. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Last Guardian. See, I haven't played Last Guardian. I'd like to. And now I guess I can. Is this just. This isn't just for the people who get it at launch, though, is it? After all, we've been. Last of Us Remastered. That's a big one. Zona 5. Yeah. Resident Evil 7. That's a big one, too. Generation defining games. So, here's why this is a big deal. Here's why this is a big deal is because for essentially sixty dollars and an internet connection, you already have access to a bunch of games. Granted, they're all PlayStation Four games, <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's still a lot to play, and uh, several of them, I'm assuming, are uh, PlayStation Plus or Pro, PlayStation Pro enhanced. So that's cool, I guess. But Naki makes a good point. He says he already owns most of the games in the showcase. I, I own a good chunk of those, too. What What is the benefit? Just make them free for everybody, not just for PS Plus members. Well, the benefit, uh, Naki, is that Sony gets more money from us. So I, I, I don't want to deprive Sony of uh, more of my money. And uh, what? Okay, so wait, hold on. You know what? Let's, let's stop at the uh, big one here, which is... The price. Okay. So here we are. The price. $500, $400. It's a lot of money. The uh, Xbox Series X is going to be $500. And supposedly more powerful than the PlayStation 5 in some respects. So uh, I guess the PS5 has a better hard drive is what I hear. I am uh, somewhat of an idiot when it comes to that stuff, but... From what I gather, PS5 is a better hard drive system, although it's a somewhat smaller hard drive as well, but a better hard drive. And the Xbox Series X, just in raw power, is stronger than the PS5. Also, however, though, if you got the digital edition of the PS5, it's $400, which is $100 less than the Xbox Series X. And the PS5 digital edition is much more powerful than the Xbox Series S, which is $300. So an extra $100 gets you extra power, but again, no disk drive. A lot of people won't miss the disk drive, but the reason I I mostly download games these days, but the reason I still like having a disk drive is because for one, I already own a bunch of games on the disk, and for two, I like the competition. I like there to be the presence of retailers, whether in a brick and mortar store or an online store like Amazon or Target or GameStop, whatever. I like there to be competition where they can lower the price. And someone like Sony or Microsoft or Nintendo might feel some pressure to put on a sale themselves or lower the price themselves. Or whatever third party uh, developer or publisher is making the game. Lower the price. Lower the price. So, uh, what do you guys think? Are you in for a $500 PlayStation or a $400 PlayStation? They didn't talk about backwards compatibility at all. This thing launches in no, on November 12th, which is October. November. It's two months from now. Less than two months, right? 
Yeah. Less than two months from now, and they're not talking about backwards compatibility. PlayStation has better games, in my opinion. That's the thing. That's a good point, Yuli. The uh, PlayStation has better exclusives, for sure. They pretty much, both of them pretty much get the same third-party games. However, Xbox One lost out on a bunch of third-party games during this generation. Like, Switch would get more games than the, uh, like, Nintendo is getting more third-party support in some respects than Microsoft. Not completely. Some games are just too far on the uh, spec spec spectrum to hit the switch right now i guess for some developers but point being uh sony has better exclusives i would take a god of war an infamous uh last of us over a halo and a forza and the thing is i can play halo and forza if i want to on my pc because that's the coolest thing microsoft has done this generation which is put pretty much put everything that they make on pc as well so i don't need to buy an xbox uh, Yuli says, unfortunately, I'm going to have to get it before the end of the year for God of War. End of next year. Oh, yeah, end of next year. That's right. Yeah, um, and the price isn't going to go down <laughs> by the end of next year unless this thing tanks in sales and it's not going to. Yeah, you're right. Um, I really like God of War. I have played all of the main ones. I didn't play the prequel. Was it God of War? God of War Origins? Man, I'm I'm really I'm really nailing it on the uh, nicknames today. I think God of War Origins. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't know. I'm tempted. Like, part of me is tempted to just get the digital edition, but I would miss that ugly lump for the disc. I don't know. I want to know more. I want to know. Like, I want Sony to be honest about the backwards compatibility. I want to know how much these controllers cost. I think they cost a lot. I'm thinking eighty dollars minimum. The uh, Switch Pro controller, I think, is seventy bucks, which is insane when it when it was first uh, revealed. Seventy dollars for a controller. I remember when like a Super Nintendo controller was like fifteen bucks, and then GameCube controllers and PS2 and Xbox controllers were like thirty bucks. They just kept raising it like ten dollars every time. So uh, the Xbox 360 and the PS3 controllers were. 50 bucks, the Wii controller, the wand itself was... See, Nintendo is no... They're not exempt from this shenanigans here. Uh, the the Wiimote itself was 40 bucks, but the nunchuck, what you needed for a lot of games, was 20 bucks itself. Boom, that's $60 controller right there. Plus tax. Yeah. You only think the, the dual sense is going to be $80 too, but you don't want it to be true. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. I hope the battery life... Supposedly, the battery life is better than it was on the PlayStation 4. There's there's still... There's two lights on it now, but it's better than the uh, big light at the front that nobody used. I turned the... If you haven't done it, you should. Um, but I turned the brightness on my... Dual Shock 4 light down to the lowest setting. You can't turn it off. So I turned it down to the lowest setting to save battery life, but it's still a bad battery life. Sony cheaped out a lot this generation. The, the PS4 and the Xbox One, they didn't go overboard in specs like they are this generation because they lost so much money on the PS3 and to a lesser extent, but somewhat of an extent, uh, the Xbox 360. So they didn't want to lose money, but now they're they're in a, a hardware race again. Spec race. They're trying to win us over with fancy graphics. And uh, now that we saw a glimpse of God of War, we didn't really see it. We saw a logo. We heard, we heard uh, Kratos say some things in a gravelly voice. And then uh, we saw the word, words, Ragnarok is coming. Naki says, I'm just going to use uh, Cronus Max Plus for using PS4 controller on PS5 games. <laughs> Is that like a, an adapter? Yoli says, I remember when the PS4 controllers were announced with motion sensors, but software developers did almost nothing with that. Yeah, same with the, the PlayStation 3. PlayStation 3, they just crammed in that six-axis uh, motion sensing as kind of like a... Uh, 
a reaction to the Wiimote. At least, this is how I see things. And nobody uses it. That's the problem. Uh, a first-person shooter on the Switch controls, I think, a lot better than it would on a PlayStation 4 or Xbox because you can still use the analog sticks. You can still use the analog sticks to uh, aim, but you also have that gyro assist, which, get, which gives you that fine-tuning. So you aim in the general direction you want, boom, fine-tune, boom, headshot. It's great. And developers use it all the time on Switch. They used it all the time on the Wii U and the Wii. But not so much on the PS4, not so much on the PS3, even though they definitely have the option. But I think they just added the option to Last of Us Part 2. I think they did. When I replay it, I will definitely enable that if it's an option. Naki says, uh, yes, Cronus Max Plus is an adapter that lets you use any controller on any console. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Does it work on future consoles, though? Hmm. All right. Well, there you go. $500 during a, a very bad time economically. The world is not doing so hot. People, there's mass unemployment, at least in America. Speaking from an American perspective, there's mass unemployment. People are losing their jobs. Left and right. Can't afford shit. No stimuluses. No stimuli. And we got $500 consoles launching. Gets updates. So that's cool. So there you have it, guys. Um, PlayStation 5. Officially revealed to you by Laser Lemming and the Up and Loaded Podcast. This this reveal has been brought to you by the Chris to Chris Podcast, which you can download anywhere podcasts are sold for free. We're on Spotify. We're on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Podcast Republic, Pocket Cast. Everywhere. Everywhere. We're on upandloaded.com. U-P-N-L-O-A-D-E-D dot com. Go ahead and uh, give us a like on Facebook at Up and Loaded. There's a link in the description, I'm sure. Uh, go ahead and follow us on Twitter. That would be wonderful. We post things, like when we're going to do a stream every uh, three months or so. Whenever, you know, whenever something life, life-changing life happens and I have the day off. So go ahead and uh, follow us. Do it. Just do it. Do it. And if your mom walks out of the room, leaves her phone unlocked, maybe follow us for her too. Maybe. Maybe you follow us for it, too. I don't know. So, uh, guys, it's been real. I've uh, definitely enjoyed our time together. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And you know what? Uh, I never get to say this on a Wednesday. But uh, do me a favor and enjoy your Wednesday. <laughs>